Hi guys, good to see you in January. This is Oleg, your real estate agent with Winner Value Commons. Today going to be my big market update for Seattle and Eastside location for months of January because data are available for months of December and I will provide for you data for residential and condominium market also. And if you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe because you will receive those videos every single month and I will provide for you a lot of data in those episodes. And let's begin. I will start with sales east side location. Right now we have 0.5 months inventory. It's very low inventory and inventory was decreasing starting in 2018 from 2.7 months to 1.4 months in 2019 and decreasing to 0.5 months in 2020. We have right now only 188 homes on the market in month of December and its lowest inventory not just in 10 years, not just in 20 years, its lowest inventory in a 30 years. And medium sell price in sales east side increased with that year over year for about 17% with a price tag 1 million $113,000. When high demand and low supply, odds of selling is very high in sales east side. It's about 84%. We have 49% of all homes, almost 50% sold above asking price and 16% sold at asking price. And only a small percentage of homes, 12% of properties sold below asking price. Market is very hot in sales east side, but possibly can change if you guys smash that like button below. Just smash it that button below and possibly market will change. And right now let's switch to sales market. And you guys can see with me on the screen, market is changing sales as well, but not that dramatically like on the east side. And inventory decreased year over year from 1.9 months to 1.1 months uh, from 2018 to 2019. And from 2019 to December 2020, inventory decreased to 0.9 months. And with that minimum sell price in Seattle, almost $800,000 in December, increased 10% year over year with odds of selling 78%. It's a strong seller market as well. Very similar to Seattle's side. We have only 27% of all homes sold above asking price, 17% at asking price, and 21% of all homes sold below asking price. And very difficult market in Seattle right now, only condominium market in downtown Seattle and Belltown. You guys can see with me together, we have increase of number of inventory in Seattle from 3.3 months to 4.9 months year over year. And we have a lot of listings on the market not selling in Seattle with medium sell price $647,000 and decrease year over year for about 1%. Let me put for you guys your favorite slide. What's happening city by city. And if you guys can see together with me, almost everywhere prices increase in December. In some areas we have a lot of sales and for example, a lot of sales was happened in Bellard. About 2,400 people sold property in December. And east, east of Lake Sammamish, about 2,000 people sold properties in December. Central Seattle, 1,000 people moved. And Mill Creek and Everett, we have recorded number of 2,800 homes sold in the month of December. That's a lot of houses for holiday season, right? Usually in December, people doesn't move. People stay with their family and friends. But you guys can see with me together, a lot of people was moving and a lot of people was selling properties. Condominium market is very similar story, except for West Bellevue, prices increase, shockingly enough, 42% year over year. To me, it seems like everybody moving to downtown Bellevue and condominium market is very desirable market. And with that guys, 2020 was very challenging year in many areas for us and starts very slow with COVID. We have very, very low inventory. And if you guys follow my channel, you guys can see every single month we have lower and lower and lower inventory on the market. And we see from 20 to 40 offers on a single property right now. And people have to increase offer up to 10%, 15% above asking price to just to win this competition. So this is crazy market. 
And if you guys ask me what will be my advice if you buy or sell or if you're a buyer, I will recommend for you guys watch my previous video, go to YouTube, find my previous video about affordability. It's explain why is affordable, still affordable to buy a property in sales and east side locations. But if you're a seller, it's a very great time for you guys to sell home because we have a lot of buyers wants your property and willing to pay top dollars for your home. I will put my number on the screen for you guys. If you need help with a real estate buy or sell, I will be love to be a real estate resource. So reach out to me, call me, text me. I can answer any questions you have. And with that, guys, stay safe there. Make a fantastic week. Until next time.